Good morning and welcome to the Espresso Report on the Democracy News Network. Today is October 16th, 2016. Our top story today is the elections, which begin on the 19th. We are already starting the debates and the candidacy announcements. And we are, intend to host a debate on the Democracy News Network as well. In this election, we are voting on mayors of York and London, as well as all legislature seats, as usual, and ministry seats. The ballots open on Wednesday the 19th and close on the 20th. Speaker of the Legislature, Blondhog, has resigned not only as Speaker but as Legislator. He intends to focus his attention on the role of General. Masenko EX is now taking over as Speaker of the Legislature and Lord Minast will be filling Blondhog's seat. Also, Pants on Fire has resigned from legislature, and his seat has been given to Emas. The Judicial Dispute Court has made a ruling in their first case, which has been brought by the Supreme Court against the legislature. The official order reads, It is the constitutional responsibility of the legislative speaker to ensure that a list is created and maintained of all successfully enacted legislation as well as each individual legislator's votes for every item proposed to the legislature. The Speaker will ensure this is done or face recall. In addition, the court mandates that the Speaker also ensure that this list contains links to these bills as well as the date they are enacted. This list will be posted to at least the main subreddit and maintained. With the ruling of the Judicial Dispute Court, the Supreme Court is continuing with Westcott versus Legislature. They also are considering hearing two other cases. MLU founder and Supreme Court Justice Domiter has been officially knighted, being the first citizen of Democracy of England to be given this honor. In game news, we have completed the world's wonder of the Hanging Gardens in London. Now this is sure to draw in crowds from around the world. Reports on the literacy rate in Democracy of England have become very concerning. We at one point were the number one in literacy and education. However, we currently stand at number three. Our highest competition comes from our neighbors in Siam. The Meta Independent Party has once again voted to recuse itself from this election. And lastly, the leadership of MIP has been taken over by I am Tihi, who is currently the mayor of York and running for re-election. And that is all for this week's Espresso Report. Be sure to check in later this week on the debates for the upcoming election.